Hey, x it's Anthony Rose. Today we are doing East Coast Swing. Now we've done some amount of East Coast Swing on our channel. We've done some West Coast Swing, but East Coast Swing is one that you want to know whether you're listening to country music or you're listening to rock or blues or pop or whatever, like you're going to find anytime there's music, you're probably going to find space to dance East Coast Swing. It's one everybody should know. It's easy to learn, but today we're covering a completely different way to look at it. Even if you've danced East Coast Swing before, bet you've never looked at it this way. So stick around. back we did an east coast swing video where we broke down that really there's only three things you can do okay so today we're going to take that concept we're going to revisit it if you haven't watched that video no big deal if you like to watch it we'll include it down in the description but if you've never watched it no big deal we're going to revisit that concept because a lot of people comment a lot of people have more questions about it but also on top of that we're going to show you how that works we're going to show you guys a bunch of different stuff a lot of different variations in this one video so you'll be able to take all the stuff that we do here and be able to hit the floor now this is all like just a short video this is basically what like a year's worth of dance lessons in one <laughs> video okay right. so we're going to demonstrate the stuff we're going to teach and then we'll start breaking it down all right guys we're going to start with a basic step we're also going to lead all the different basic underarm turns so she turns to the right now she turns to the left so maybe we do a turn where she turns and he turns finishing in a wrap, also called a cradle. We can take her back out, do what's called the hammer lock. Some people call that a pretzel. And then we have our bonus feature, which is she turns, <laughs> he goes underneath, and then she turns out behind him. All right, so we're gonna do all of that stuff in this one video. You'll also notice down in the description that there'll be uh, tags where you can actually click on that and go directly to that step. But first, we gotta break down the basic step and the basic turns, because everything kind of revolves around that. Because as we said in the previous video, which we hope you watch that one later, not now, but later, eventually, everything you're gonna do is gonna be one of three things. Later on, there's a fourth. But you have um, doing a basic, you have turning her to the right, and you have turning her to the left. Yep. Now, the idea is this the same. So for the basic step, for those of you who've never done this, it is just triple step, triple step, rock step. Now the way that we teach these is that we teach them in three sections of two beats of music, all right? So this is six counts total. So you have triple step, you can count that as one and two. Then you have a triple step going back the other way. Triple step is three steps to two beats of music for a triple step. And then you have a small, let me say that again, a small rock step. Leaders take your left foot slightly back, followers take your right foot slightly back, step and replace. Let me show you that footwork from the other side. All right, so we have a triple step, that side together side as a basic idea. Then we triple step back for a triple step. And then we have a small rock step. Make sure that you take weight on that foot. Don't just like touch the foot there. Make sure you actually step on the, that foot and replace. So again, that is triple step triple step rock step all right so guys the dance hold of east coast swing is a little different than your other dances like two step if we were two step our pair our shoulders are pretty much parallel to each other if you took your bodies into v-shape kind of like a promenade and then take this hand and just kind of relax it down this is a good swing dance hold so when we're actually dancing the basic we kind of have a v-shape now that basic step can go just basically side to side like we did you can actually turn it rotating to the right uh, which you'll do most of the time. You can also turn that to the left, whichever way, whichever way the leader leads is what yeah. we're saying. Okay, now the reason why we said it is three sections, two beats of music, because there are three sections within there. In each one of those three sections, you're doing a different thing than the section before it or after it. Okay, so just, I mean, this is pretty simple stuff, but you have, I go to my left, which means she goes to her right. We're done going that way. There's a new thing. We go back this way. We are done doing that and then we rock. Now here's the reason why we break it down into three sections of two beats of music because when you start turning, like all that turning stuff that we did earlier, whenever she turns or whenever he does, you're just gonna turn for that section of two beats. They're not gonna blend over. Like, so you do something, a section, and then you turn for one section. It can't start and finish earlier. It, like, it has to be contained within that section. So here's how this works with the right turn. Guys, so when we turn her to the right, she is gonna turn to the right. That's clockwise, by the way. She's gonna turn clockwise on the second triple step, which means she does not start her turn on the first. She doesn't finish it during the rock step. 
If we were just doing a basic setup, so we have section one, section two, section three, for section one, which is that first triple, she does not turn. All I do is prep her by raising the hand up. I'm setting her up, Signal. I'm preparing her for the turn. Now she has to start and finish that second, that turn for that second triple step. Now the hand is down and separately from that, we have a rock step. Now, it's important to learn this this way, okay? Because the other things that we're going to be doing forever, everything you're ever gonna do East Coast Swing follows this structure. Now, a lot of people make the mistake, dance teachers and, and dancers, is that they're dancing the basic, this is a huge mistake, and don't do this by the way, where she starts turning and then she finishes the turn. It's like a huge mistake that's going to mess you up later. If you've been taught that from the beginning and now you're having trouble with double turns in particular or a lot of other things, not your fault. All you gotta do is go back and fix it and then a lot of that stuff you learn will just work a lot better. So an example of that is if we're doing a basic step and I wanted her to do a double turn, I have to prep her and then she can do that double turn. On the other hand, if she starts already turning on the first, where is that energy going to come from? It has to come from somewhere to go to somewhere. So that is a huge mistake. Okay, so now let's do the left turn. So if every time she turns to the right, she preps and then she turns and then she rocks. When she turns the left, every single time, she is going to start and finish that turn on the first triple. Then we triple in place for the second and rock for the third section. Now that is gonna happen across the board, whether you're dancing just the basics or whether you've been dancing for 15 years, everything you've ever learned or everything you're gonna learn, whether you learn this cool stuff that we're getting ready to teach you guys or not, know this, if you get anything from this, when she turns to the right, she starts and finishes on the second triple. When she turns to the left, she starts and finishes on the first triple. So showing you that again, so if we do the basic, that's triple one, triple two, rock for three. She preps for one, turns for two, rocks for three. Now she turns, she triples, and she rocks. So from that system, if you keep that in mind for everything, all of this stuff we're getting ready to teach you now is going to make a whole lot more sense. We just gotta switch hands while we do it, okay? So let me show you guys some variations of this. So let's demonstrate all the stuff we showed you guys at the beginning of the video and show you how that works with this system and then we'll start breaking it down. So we have that basic again, she goes to the right, she goes to the left, she rocks. Now it's a basic step, prep for one, turn for two, rock for three, that's a right turn. Now there's a left turn, which is turn for one, triple for two, rock for three. Then we did the alternating on turns, which is a left turn, which means she turns for one, she triples for two, she rocks for three. Now we've got the wrap, which is a left turn followed by a right turn. So she turns for one, triples for two, that's a left turn. Now she's gonna turn to the right, which is a prep for one, turn for two, rock for three. Now we have a right turn followed by left, called a hammer lock. She preps for one, she turns for two, rocks for three, left turn, turns for one, triples for two, rock for three. And then we have our bonus feature, also called Anthony's awesome East Coast swing turny thing. So then we have, okay. so we got that right step. So she's a left turn, so she turns for one, she triples for two, she rocks for three. It's a right turn, so she preps for one, she turns for two, and rocks for three. Now, if you watch this stuff, if you watch what her feet do, you wouldn't be able to tell which one of these things you're doing. So really you're just switching hands and touching and holding each other differently. So let's break these down one at a time. All right, guys, before we get into the next pattern, we just wanted to personally invite you guys to check out X Dance University. Yeah. Go to xdanceuniversity.com, check that out. It is the world's first interactive dance training technology. Now what that means, this is not just a website where there are videos and stuff like that. This is an interactive virtual training platform, almost like having Rose and I there, where you can ask a question. Yep. You can try some new material, click on a button and get an answer to a question or a problem that you might be having, or maybe you wanna see the full work, maybe you wanna see more about the lead. So check that out, you can get a free month. We're still in beta test, so you can get a free month. Check it out, let us know if you like it. Now back to the next thing. All right, so now we're doing the alternating underarm turn. Now this is a left turn. So if you remember what we talked about, she's turning counterclockwise, which is to the left, which means she needs to start and finish her turn in the first triple. Now, followers, one thing I wanna point out to you, just because he might be doing some stuff doesn't mean it changes your idea. Now, in this case, he's going to be turning, and just because he's turning doesn't mean you have to turn, you know, unless he's leading you for the turn. But in this case, it is a she goes and then he goes. Left turn, turn for the first, triple for the second. So you have she, turns for one, triples for two, 
rocks for three. Now it looks like something different, but in reality, if you watch your footwork, it's exactly the same. You just have to separate the two turns. That's why it's called alternating underarm turns. You alternate, she turns for the first triple, he turns for the second. All right, let me show you the hand connection here. So if she does a rock step, she's gonna turn for one. Now I've got that basic hand hold, but at the end of that triple, I've gotta to begin to turn my palm outwards so my palm is facing outwards. Now I am facing the side, she's still facing forward, so I've not come all the way to face her. The reason why I do that and create that hand out that way is so that I don't have as far to turn. All right, so now that my palm is facing outwards, I can just slip underneath. All right, so just be really careful to separate those two turns, make it alternating. She goes, he goes, right? Correct. So you have a rock step, that's done. She turns for one, I switch my hand to the outside. She triples in place, completely separate. I turn under for two, end up squaring up with her and rock step. Okay, so that is the idea for everything we're gonna teach is that everything is contained within one, within one section. So let's show you the next one. So we're gonna do the wrap or the cradle, or I mean, there's a lot of, I've heard this called the egg beater. I don't know what, how that's relevant, but basically it's a left turn followed by a right turn. So it is, she turns for one, triples for two, that's the left turn. Then she turns to the right, which is prep for one, turn for two. So if we get uh, out and we end up in this two hand hold, she rock steps, she turns for one as I bring that hand over top and end up in this wrap position. I'll show you that from another angle. Then we triple in place and then we rock. And then it's a um, right turn. So I bring the hand up to prep her for one. She turns for two and we rock for three. So if we watch that from this angle, you'll notice that the leader basically stays facing the same direction the entire time. He's not turning this time. He's bringing her to his side. So if we go rock step, she turns for one, she has to start and finish that turn in that first triple. Now, because we're standing side to side, we don't triple to the side anymore. We can kind of triple backwards just in place and then we rock. On the way out, I would just bring that left hand up to prep for one. Then I stay in place again, sending her out. She starts and finishes that turn in that second triple and then we rock. So she turns for one, triples for two, rocks for three, prep for one, turn for two, rock for three. A couple things you wanna keep in mind here is that uh, I see this mistake all the time. When he brings her in, somehow he brings her in front of him yeah. and then you're just stepping all over each other. So you've gotta aim for basically like putting her in the pocket, if that makes sense. So if she's here, when I bring her in, she's got to come to my side so that you're giving both of your feet some room, okay? That is to my right side. And then she comes back out. This is just a left turn followed by a right turn with a different hand hold, okay? So yeah. if you've learned that basic, basic, basic turns that we did a second ago, this should be a whole lot easier for us. So if you've ever done this pattern before and maybe you had trouble with it, it just kind of feels kind of wonky, try it with this system of turning at the right time and see if that doesn't work out a lot of that stuff. Okay, so next up, we're doing the hammer lock, all right? So we, again, are in a two hand hold. Now this is a right turn followed by a left turn. So if we're doing our basic step, a right turn, she turns on the second triple. So we prep for one, there's no turn yet. Then we turn her for two, we rock for three. Now it's a left turn. So she has to start and finish that turn for the first, triple in place for the second, rock for the third. Now, the degree of turn here, like how much she turns is really important. For that first turn, she's gonna turn three quarters of a turn. I'm only gonna turn one quarter of a turn. So if I'm facing here, she's facing me, we do our basic, and when she does the turn, she turns three quarters of a turn to the right, I've turned one quarter. All right, we're gonna talk about this hand connection in a second. But when we do the second turn, we both turn half. So we're basically switching sides. Okay, so let's talk about this hand connection. So to talk about the hands themselves, we're gonna bring the left hand. I'm not worried about the footwork right now. What I want you guys to do is just focus on how the hands get to their place. So I'm bringing my left hand up. Notice I keep the right hand down low. Now we've got this halo that goes around her head and I'm taking that left hand around that halo, but you'll notice I take the left hand and keep it down low and my right hand ends up behind her back. We're gonna try really hard not to pull that and everything else. We want that, give her as much space as you need, right? Or as much space as she needs. Appreciated. So the right hand is gonna do something called, we're gonna break the wrist. So if I'm in this handhold, that right hand is going to turn over to get her into that position. So my right hand comes up, my, my left hand, my, damn it. Start from there. Ready? So my left hand comes up and it circles around that halo, but with my right hand, I am circling that over, 
to get into that position. Now you notice just as before, we are side by side. We don't wanna be out here because the farther I get away from her, and by the way, spacing is super important here. We can't be too far away from her to give her that space. So we're gonna take her with our left hand up. That's her right hand. We're circling that around that halo. The left hand, her left hand comes behind her back, which is my right hand. We end up in this position. This is the first turn. This all happens in one triple step. So let me show you that again. So we bring the hand up for the first triple. That turn has to start and finish in the second triple step. She's turned three quarters of a turn. I've turned one quarter. Once we get into this position, we both do a small rock step, okay? From here, I'm just taking that left hand back overhead to place it back into that halo, and we're gonna switch sides. This is start and finish that turn in that first triple so that we can triple in place for the second. So what you have all together is you have, uh, if you're doing a basic step, you have triple, triple rock, you have prep for one, turn for two, rock for three. Now turn for one, triple for two, rock for three. Keep in mind the degree of turn is really important when you turn to the right. She turns three quarter, I turn one quarter. On the way back, we both switch sides and do half. Okay, so here we go with the next step. Guys, your bonus feature, also known as the reverse rad. This is a left turn followed by a right turn. So left turn, she starts and finishes a turn in the first triple, so we're facing each other for rock step. Now I'm bringing both hands over the head and she starts and finishes that turn for triple step, right? Now this, we'll talk about this hand connection in a minute, but we are basically facing each other. She's gonna stay in place for the second triple as I basically duck under that arm and we get into this reversed wrap. So basically she has me in a wrap position. So from here we rock step. Now we're gonna take that hand. I'm gonna take my left hand, which is connected to her right hand. I'm gonna let go of my right. I'm gonna take that hand, that's my prep. There's no turn here. And then she's gonna turn out to the right as I turn to the left to start and finish for that second triple. All right, so let's talk about these hand connections close up because this one's a little bit more difficult. All right, so from here, she has to start and finish that turn in that first triple. Now I've got to do something unique with my hands. I take both hands over, but then I take my right hand and place it down into my elbow as we finish. So we get into this, it's called a picture window. So we got to get into this position by the end of that first triple. So let's show you that again. If we're here, that all happens as one motion. So we go rock step and then we start and finish. Now you notice my palm is facing me. I've got to be pretty close to her. If I get too far away, I'm not going to be able to duck under. So she triples in place as I just basically step underneath that to get her behind me into this wrap position. From here, we're gonna rock step, small rock step. You can almost do that in place leader so you don't step on her feet. But for here, she's gonna triple in place. I'm gonna let go of my right hand and I'm gonna take her uh, right hand on the inside. If you notice, I've turned my hand over. This is the first triple. For that first triple, I'm actually going to have that hand with both of my hands. This is the prep. From here, I'm basically gonna throw that outwards, not literally, I'm gonna <laughs> turn her out that way so that she turns and we're basically rolling against each other as she turns to the right and I turn to the left and then we rock. Showing that all together, it's rock step. She turns for one, I get into that picture window. I turn under for two, we both rock step. I prep her switching the hand for one, we roll against each other for two, picking her up for that rock step. Okay, so guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Now here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna demonstrate all of this stuff that we did and hopefully you guys have learned it. Do it too. But we're gonna demonstrate that all to music and show what it looks like. Now you can do this stuff like as a set, like a little mini routine as you, if you want, that helps you just kind of remember the stuff. If not, you can learn to break them apart. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. We're gonna demonstrate this for you guys to music. All right, guys. Oh. <laughs> you should just start like that. Go ahead, do that again. No. Come on, do it again. You said you always do it again. Oh, well, now I feel like. No, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I just want her love, is all I want in my life.
I just want your muscles. <laughs>